Now turning to war in Ukraine, with Russia's war against Ukraine entering its sixth month on Sunday, the United Nations have estimated that at least 5,000 civilians have been killed. With no end in sight, Moscow continues to expand its military objectives in Ukraine. Kim Yo-sun has more. Attacks on key Ukrainian infrastructure continued on the 105th day of Russia's war against its neighbor. Moscow's missiles hit Ukraine's Black Sea port of Odessa on Saturday, just hours after the two countries signed agreements to allow grain exports to resume. Russian attacks continue across the country, with Moscow announcing earlier last week that its military objectives in Ukraine would now go beyond the eastern Donbas region, marking the clearest acknowledgement that the country has expanded its war goals. The UN estimates that some 5,000 civilians have lost their lives in Ukraine during the five months since the onset of Russia's invasion. While the actual casualty figure could be even higher than that, Ukraine's health ministry says at least 18 medical personnel had been killed and nearly 900 medical facilities had been damaged or destroyed so far. With the war entering its sixth month on Sunday, Ukrainian president vowed that his country would do all it can to fight against Russia. So we don't let up. As in every day during the last five months, we do everything to inflict the highest possible damage on the enemy and to gather for Ukraine as much support as possible. Against his backdrop, Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov dismissed claims that Moscow was the cause of the global food crisis. Visiting Egypt, he stressed that it was Western nations who were distorting the truth about the impact of sanctions on global food security. He further elaborated that the West, including the U.S., Britain and Germany, as well as many EU and NATO member states, was prolonging the conflict. Lavrov added that while Moscow stands ready to resume negotiations with Ukraine on a number of issues, Ukraine and the West have not agreed to return to the negotiating table. Kim Hye-san, Arirang News.